maybe connected to your work. Justice may be connected to a relationship. The Six of Swords moving away from a situation into a calmer time, space, whatever it is that you're looking to bring uh, more fluidity and uh, clearer thinking. Those changes are in the offing. But also, there's a real importance to know that the things that, uh, I feel you're looking for a sense of justice around something. Tells me that my Scorpios may be dealing with something legal, because now we have the Ten of Swords. He's our judge. He's our lawyer. He's the one that releases us, frees us, and creates the ability to walk away with clarity and to uh, walk a clearer path where there's uh, growth and abundance. That I'm not sure where that came from. We're looking for um, better days, brighter days, accomplishment, happiness, a uh, more promising movement forward. Forgive me. <clears throat> I think I'm getting a cold. Guys, here we go. Let's finish this. The two of wands. The choice. The choice that can come with... Really, it, it, you may have to make some very emotionally... Troubling decisions at this time. Um, but whatever choices, whatever path you are choosing, going forward, there's growth. There's promise with the sun in the middle. You're walking away from something. But you're walking towards something too. A younger king of pentacles. And maybe we have two people coming in. We may, one may be in Aries because Justice is represented by Aries. He is connected to this Knight of Swords. Uh, they have very similar energies in which they are clear and they can be cutting and decisive and the sense of Justice and the Knight of Swords can work hand in hand with the King of Swords. So I think you're releasing something is really what the basic message is here for you. That some of you are releasing the old. Maybe something that you put a lot of hard work in. Something you put a lot of time in. Spent a lot of your energy and maybe even a lot of your money. Uh, finances to create a situation that now, frankly, you are galloping away from with the Knight of Swords. This may be you separating from a slow-moving situation. But you're moving in the Eight of Cups towards the Knight of, uh, of Pentacles. A younger, more stable earth sign. Uh, here it's, it can be a male. The knights can be male or female in general readings. You know, the, the court cards can be anybody to me, a male or female. Can, if it's not a younger person, it's someone with a very youthful kind of energy, a youthful outlook. But I do feel seriously this can be a younger, and this can mean a person that's a month younger or a year younger, but somebody who is younger than you. But... Scorpio, Scorpio, you're riding or you're walking towards this night. He, you're facing one another. So we know that these are two people who are destined to meet. While you're in the process of maybe leaving a situation, such as a marriage, feels quite quickly. But there's a fulfillment of a cycle. It's a big cycle. It's important. Yes. For you, 
uh, to move forward with this because uh, the sun, the sun culminates everything. It culminates the darkness into the light. And it brings truth. It uh, can bring uh, children. It brings new beginnings. Uh, there are a lot of possibilities here. I still haven't figured out why patience or forgiveness may be here. Maybe this is saying uh, the process may take patience. And you may be asked to forgive someone on the uh, road that you've chosen. But really, the road ahead may be a little bit trying. Spirit here with adventure may be saying that it's time for you, yes, to uh, have a little bit of fun. Now, I'm asking Michael about a clarifier. Now we ask, if it's time for a clarifier, is this it? Pardon me. Well, please clarify for me now. So we're asking Michael to clarify for us right now in this scenario. Please give us clarity here, Michael. Oh, there we go. We've got a moving away or a journey. The misfortune, the tower, which I think for some Scorpios is directly connected to the justice the King of Swords who brings that clarity and the walking away with the Eight of Cups combined with the moving away into calmer times with the Six of War uh, of, of Swords. So you're progressing towards a better time. And that better time for some of you, Scorpio, is connect to, co connected to a younger uh, Earth sign uh, energy. So good for you, but we need one more clarifier here. So we will be journeying away from a situation that has come to an end. One more. Prison. Okay. The end of the, situ the situation has, for some of you, made you feel like you've been living in a prison, like you're being, like you had been held back, and now you feel like you're, like a, ready to ride away on a wild stallion here, and uh, you're ready to move away from this prison situation, especially on this card, the journey, this guy is riding horse, he's moving away quickly. This horse with the Knight of uh, Swords also moves away. There's real movement away from this situation that's been unfortunate. And maybe for some of you have felt, certainly felt like a prison. Now let's talk about quickly an energy from the, uh, this is the, um, who is this? Oh, the Keepers of the Light deck. This is Lord Ganesh. He talks about infinite abundance. Obstacles are being removed. Spiritual support and uh, connections are increasing. So, your spiritual connections are on the rise. You're coming closer to what it is that you're desiring. And what it really means that you're desiring is infinite abundance of all kinds. Beautiful energy. Very good.